uh, forces really uh, got to the uh, criminal camp uh, between Aglaze and Dogwaji. And that's a camp in which they continue to operate unhindered. And uh, for the first time, they have been there for more than a year, more than even two years, that we've been getting reports that they were operating from there. They came from there unhindered and attacked and burned, kidnapped, raped, bombed places. For two years, they operated from there. But like we said, Anambra is determined to restore peace in our land. Peace and security must reign in our land. And so yesterday, they were smoked out from there. Uh, the camp destroyed. And I think um, as they were fleeing uh, from the place, cowardly now decided to come and set up a uh, local government. But uh, thank God that the police came in on time and, um, and also smoked them out from here. As we've quite uh, said, and we've said it over and over, we've offered only Frank to all those who are in the bush to come out, surrender your gun, and we'll help to rehabilitate you to play critical roles in the development of Anambra, uh, the Southeast, and Nigeria. And, uh, but those who refuse to take that option and decide to continue with their criminal activities from the bush, various uh, bushes around, we can only say one thing to them, and that is that they cannot cow the people. Anambra will take back their land. And the point is that majority of the people doing this, the statistics so far, the people are arrested, 85% of them come from one of the states in the southeast, another 15% from another state in the southeast. It's really our people doing this to themselves. Common criminals. You just get into the bush, from the things recovered from the criminals, well, from the camps, it's quite evident they are common criminals. With a register of those that they kidnapped, how much they paid, balance remaining, and so on and so forth, the date they kidnapped and how, various vehicles of the stolen, stolen items. And of course, as they arrived there, they had even taken delivery. They just took delivery of uh, food items and so on and so forth and the place with all kinds of stuff, uh, shrines and, and so on and so forth. They are not our people. That's, that's not us. And this one to shall pass. Peace and stability must return in Anambra. Peace and stability must return in, in the Southeast. We cannot tolerate all of this. What my message to them is that take the olive branch and come out. Surrender your gun and we'll help you gain a useful life. But if you choose criminality, anyone in the bush with a gun is a criminal. Anybody in the bush with a gun is what? A criminal. And will be treated as such. There will be no hiding place anymore in Anambra. If you want to operate camps, if you want to do this, where you or kidnap people and do that, you better find space elsewhere. Because if you fail to take the olive branch, we will come after you. And no amount of warning or whatever will cow the people. The people's power will triumph. We must restore peace and stability here so that we can create a livable and prosperous homeland for our children and grandchildren and great grandchildren on board. This is, I don't, this is not a time to make long speeches. But all I can tell on the Anambra is that we are resolved, a total resolve, to stamp out criminality from this land. And with God on our side, Anambra people are irrepressible. We will never yield ground to the criminals. We will take back our land. Thank you very much. Yes, so the HOS, can you give us a account of what happened? Glamour, glamour, that is mine. I just told you what happened.